So we're coming to you live just close to the tiptoe lane right here at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle area. And uh, this is situated in the Ayawaso East Ayawaso Central constituency. And of course, um, we'll come here in detail, bring you a full version of Community Manifesto. Community Manifesto is one of the many segments of regular content that has been developed as part of regular programming for your election command center. And uh, over the period, the experiences have been enormous, not only for ourselves as hosts, but also the technical team and the entire media general fraternity. And including you as our regular viewers and stakeholders, we make sure that we enter a community in your constituency to have your voice, your concerns, your sentiments well heard and articulated. And today, we want also just to give you a gist of what we encounter, what you have been watching regularly as we launch Election Command Center, the comprehensive coverage of Media General and TV3s, as well as the other subsidiaries coverage of the 2024 general elections. In the meantime, well, as we have here, I have a number of individuals, just four of them, and so I'll quickly let them do their introduction. And um, you can speak any language at home. And let me just give you the mic and you do the introduction, and subsequently we'll follow through. Okay. Yeah, friend. Yeah, we jump in. Second, the title of the friend. Yeah, me oh. Second, the friend. Yeah, me oh. So um, here he's called. That's his name. Right here at Tip Tolling Circle. That, that's how he's known. Okay. Good morning. My name is Daniel Hukonovi. I live around uh, Pick Farm Electoral Area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, a resident of Pick Farm just right here. Daniel also introducing himself. What's your name, sir? Papa Bisu. Papa Bisu. Yep. <laughs> a member of Ayalu Central area. area. All right. Yeah. So, you are, uh, you are a member of the constituency, so to speak. <laughs> The constituency. All right. And, and what, what, what about you? What role do you play here? Well, I'm also a member of the community, precisely Kotubabi Electoral Area. Okay. My name is Tommy Thompson. Tommy Thompson. AKA Mugabe. AKA Mugabe. All right. What, what role do you play a role in the local government structure at all? Sure. Okay. okay. What role is that? Well, I'm an assembly member for Kotubabi Electoral oh, Area. So assembly member. So let me just begin the conversation and start with um, Yao Jemfi, AKA. And so, um, if you take a look at the development over the last couple of years, Ayawaso is a center because close by we have other electoral areas as well. How would you describe development? So, because the development, because and near my course, my room, I course, since I'm going west, and to me, Kaka Mekanis said, As I said, or mine, your sole, especially you to near me any doubt. Nani, I know a thing. Me a businessman, me Tom Obafum. And your man, Cockra, and that Oba coin to me to Andy. I'm telling you to don't ask you. I'm a businessman, depending me, pa, me mechanical credit. And your man, quay, or mine, crazy, yes. Say some of our phone, or be a bond to a body. Dollar and so a him and his table. A city trassy. So, ain't he as a sample in for this? Now, would you know on my man, Timamufono? Because Yanim and Econ Eba. Say, I said, Muno and Samo Summer by any song. That is law. I was saying, Muno Summer by say, Yanni and Summer. Oh, and Timam be blessing it trassy. Now, I said, so it's a Ghana for you. I don't know So I don't know who I'm telling you. Now wait, my rent to die. Won't you rent to die? I'm a businessman. Businessman, yeah. Rent to boss of our bank. Hey, if I'm a papa, send me to your tour. 
Now, I think that's important that we have a businessman. Now, Daniel, um, considerably, it will mean that he's raising standard of living issues. He's also an entrepreneur, so he's worried about his trade. He brings in uh, gadgets, mobile phones, and then he's worried about affordability of the ordinary citizens. How? Somebody will say that, but we, we have a number of uh, um, activities that have been undertaken. And just uh, playing the devil's advocate right here, I'll say that we have free SHS, so you can take your admission letter today and go to a school. I mean, perhaps we should discount what you have to buy and add, but you can enjoy food at the dining hall. If you want to stay that way, you can get education. Development are ongoing. Some projects have been undertaken. Some um, at some levels uncompleted yet. So somebody will say that we should be satisfied generally. Iowa so central, and for you, you're, as a resident, as a normal Ghanaian living, how is it like for you? How would that impact your decision? Okay, thank you very much, and thank you for the viewers of TV3. Uh, frankly, my brother, I have said a lot, but then I believe that generally the world is at crisis, and so far, Ghana has done its best. And I believe that before COVID, things were getting better. But then when COVID hit in, but when COVID hit in, we saw how things w was across the world. Things were very bad. But then you saw how things were managed here in Ghana. At least the president himself said he knows how to do what? To bring back the economy. But how to bring life, we couldn't. And we, we can all attest that many of us stayed home. Teachers were at home, right? But they were being paid. Doctors were also working and they were also being taken care of. Many lives were saved. Look at many of, 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 of other African countries. They lost their lives. But then we were able to handle the economy. Inflation all the way raised up to 54%. But now, I don't know. Around but then, the 2022 period. Yeah, period. But now it is currently around 22, and definitely I know it's going to go down. Obviously, it's not okay for all of us. But I believe that things are being worked out for. And definitely things will get better. So, of course, let's understand. Okay, then, then let me come quickly. Daniel, you said we should have patience. In, in this life, patience works a lot. You, 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 there's, there's no way that when you don't have patience, you cannot succeed. So I will plead to Ghanaians. I'm talking to Ghanaians here. That let's have the patience. And moreover, today, a lot of social policies have been put in place. That is helping a lot. As you said, free SHS. Imagine if you are to pay free SHS today, and free SHS is giving us access. A lot of young ones are getting access to education today. And that is the most important thing. Before then, you go and write, one time is due for, to, for you to write an exams. You go, and if you don't pay your, uh, your fees, your, 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 your exams fees, you'll be sucked to go home. And that person, you, you, and, 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 and that fellow, will probably miss a, uh, miss a lifetime opportunity. But today, but today, though all those things are being taken care of. Even the basic SHS free, uh, uh, um, uh, how do you call it? Um, basic SHS, basic SHS um, uh, 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 exam fee are being paid. So please, Ghanaians, let's give Nanado, uh, Dr. Baumia the opportunity to continue the good things that they have started. Thank you very much. Yeah. But a key consideration, um, these are the considerations you will make because uh, you feel that the policies that have been introduced um, have, have been undertaken well. Is it that you are saying that there's a period within the, the, the Ekufado Baumi administration where the economy was better as a result of that we should have hindsight consideration for that and make that choice? Okay, so so that will be up to which point? 2022 from or up to 2020? Which time? A period from 2017 to when? I think that when you look at it carefully, when they took over from the NDC, things were practically bad and worse. We were in Doomsaw. We were in Doomsaw, things were practically bad. Even circle here, we could remember how many people. So by 2017, 
the situation had, had been ameliorated. Exactly. We have to be clear on that. Yes. So, so from which point should be the benchmark that should be used as a point of consideration for the government and then for the ordinary people who are going to vote? So, obviously, things are picking up from now. So I think that the benchmark should be taken from now. And I believe that things from next year will get much, much better. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, Papa bless you. Papa bless you. At, at the end of the day, um, somebody will say that, I, I think I take a cue from Daniel. Daniel is saying, look, we cannot be blaming the government for everything that's gone wrong. Do you, do you also say COVID and Ukraine, same time as well? Okay, you also make that consideration. So COVID and Ukraine, it's a good excuse, somebody will say. Let me, let me Papa bless you. Yeah, Roland, thanks for giving me this opportunity to talk. On behalf of majority of suffering Ghanaians, let me be frank with you. This is not what Nanado promised Ghanaians. Then what did he promise? He promised that he was going to so a comedy. When he was in opposition. Why you are in Ghana here? We heard his voice to saying that the money is there at Bank of Ghana. So we need we don't need to borrow. He said he has worked at Bank of Ghana before. Are you aware of that? He comes to power. They borrowed more than every government in this very country. They borrowed more than every government in this very country. I get to my point. He's saying that I'm hearing them saying about what they call it. Uh, when they came to power, things were worse and things like that. John Mahama, he says, this is John Mahama operated this country with only one oil fold, Jubilee oil fold. As he was leaving, he has already prepared the ground for two oil fold that came into operation. I mean, the 10 oil fold, the Sankofa oil fold. So in addition, Ghana had three oil fold in Ghana. Well, somebody will say, if you look at the, 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 the Roland. GDP itself by way of the quantum itself, Roland. we're almost inching out to a big Roland, we are announced by the finance minister. Roland. That should be credit to the Ghanaians government. Ghanaians are not eating G, G, uh, GDP or whatever it is. Ghanaians are feeling angry whereby under John Mahama's administration, we could buy Kenke, a ball of Kenke for five CD, uh, for 50 pesos or one city. Today, ball of Kenke is sold at five cities. At the time that John Mama was in power, the city to the dollar was what? Almost four cities. Now, whereby they said, if, uh, Baumia said he has arrested the dollar and given the key to IGP. Now the dollar is to the city almost getting to 70 cities. 70 cities. Please wrap up for me. Give me a space, Roland. Because the way things are going, Ghanaians are not happy at all. Well, so if somebody tells you that COVID issue or whatever it is, I'm saying that, when you cut in, I'm saying that the three oil foods that your mama handed over to Nanado, which made Nanado's administration to have what in this Ghana? Eh? Ghana should have been able to manage the economy well. But she has messed up a whole lot of things. Yes, they are COVID, and again, Russia, let Ukraine. me be frank with you. COVID, Russia, it Ukraine. is never true. And uh, that, 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 that so called, it is never true, please. It true. It's never true. Wrap, wrap up for me. They say, they say, they say they have brought, they have brought free education. Roland, I was arguing with you before we came on board. I'm saying that Nanado deceived Ghanaians with so called. Free SHS. Nanado's type of free HS he started it progressively with four one students. He started it progressively with four one students. Those in form two and form three never never had a chance. Twenty seventeen. So it deceived people. But you, because are, but people. you agree with me that the form of free SHS that is being implemented where first years, second years, third years get admission, they go to school and they start classes, has never been implemented in Ghana. Let me be frank with you, Roland. Let me be frank with you. If Nanado had taken the cue from Jomames, 
progressively free associations that I started with the day students, I get to my point, and do it gradually. We are in total mess right now with the so-called free SHS. Yes, some people have the chance, not paying school fees, they'll just take their bag and go. But after going to the school, they suffer a lot via eating, via accommodation. You understand me? If your mama had had that chance, he would, have, he, would, he would have included the private school. The, I'll give it to I'll give, I'll, you. will have included the private school people, whereby accommodation wise, feeding wise, everything will have been fine. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lola. Thank you, viewers. I think. Thank you, Roland, for the opportunity. I think your question is a um, welcome question, and I think it's good if you could go in that way. Who was the strategy? Oh, the, uh, uh, one time assembly member, Moses Abor, uh, a failure who contests and lost elections. Moses is frustrated. Moses is frustrated, so she can do all the gymnastics. But I don't mind. You know, um, <laughs> Thank you, Roland. Uh, well, like you said, the question. You see, it's good that way, but you know, Rome was not built a day. Rome was not built a day. It's through a gradual process. You understand? Can you, can you agree with the vice president and the president? I'm not, not no, 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 no. I'm saying this in a contest. I'm saying this in a contest that former President Mahama, more in power, Right, he was governing this country. He took over from former President Kufuor. When Baumia, Doctor Baumia, and the current president before they came, what did they tell us? The Mahama administration is not performing, and they are overborrowing. I mean, the, the size of government is just too much. When they come, they downsize the government. Today, what is the size of the government we have today? Have you ever seen Mahama traveling in private jets before? He doesn't do that. He's a commercial text. Because we have crisis in the community, in the country. Mama will not, you know, misuse the taxpayers' money. Lauren, are you here? You see, Mahama will not misuse the taxpayers' money. So what I'm saying is that today, as we sit here, Ghanaians can feel the heat. During the administration of Mahama, a bottle of Krenke is one city. A gallon of a petrol is what? Four, 14 cities. Today, how much is a gallon of petrol? You, un you understand? When you come to banking, uh, 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 the, how do you call it? Banking cleanup exercise. They said they're going to use $9 million to do that. They end up using $25 million. Did you go or do we come? Why did you go and why did you come? In terms of the banking cleanup exercise. How much is government says it's going to use to do that exercise? You understand? So there's no way you can compare somebody who claims he's an economist. Mahama is not an economist, but you cannot compare the economic uh, uh, and Akufuado performance to Mahama. It can't be done. You understand? Uh -huh. So when it comes to performance, Ghanaians are now yelling, calling Mahama for a comeback, because Ghanaians are suffering, Ghanaians are dying. No, my view, in the views of Ghanaians. I asked you a question about, I, I asked you a question about, if you look at, because you are an assembly member, you are a member of an assembly, you look at development. Could we do it better at the local government level? What do you think is missing? Roland, what is missing is that, typical example, and I'm an assembly member. It's a program, a project in my community to be done. I have to lobby to the assembly. I've written a lot of petitions, I've written a lot of lobbies. Yes, common fund is not coming. Also center, common fund is not coming. Go and tell the communities. We have these Gary projects, right? Funded by World Bank, right? Go and see the community. When it rains, we are places that get flooding. People have been dying. You understand? As we speak now, go and tell some of the dumping sites within the community. If the food is just too much. Meanwhile, we have sanitation ministry. As I speak to you now, 
uh, the appliances that I've mentioned to you, if you go, you'll be marvel. Kotobabi, the top public dumping sites. You understand? The place is filthy and dirty. And not only that, go to the polar park, the drain system there. Even recently, before the before the uh, brothers is uh, brothers uh, Boston suffered their uh, yes, the minister gave order that those cattle who are in communities, you see, can die, man, be and start to be clear of. There's a particular school in my community called Kotubabi Ababana Class of Schools. They are running cattle in that school compound, as I'm saying now. If you move your team to that place, you see it there. I've raised this issue at the assembly severally. The, now, cattle are competing with students in the school campus, which is very bad. So, in fact, Roland, this administration. Yeah, in Accra. The cattle. Is, cattle. Okay. So, uh, you join us. Uh, uh, what, what's your name? Let me just do a screen. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Kweku Kwame Abraham, popularly known as Ebi. My name is Peku Kwame Abraham, popularly known as Ebi. Uh, my greetings to viewers and everyone watching us live today and to the very good people of Ghana. Especially greetings to Honorable Henry Kote and then um, our parliamentary, uh, our uh, presidential candidate, Dr. Lad Mamoudou Baumia. Greetings to him. Um, I'm here to talk about the good things that. I'm here to talk about the good things that our Honorable Henry Kote has done for our community. Because I was hearing, we were asking about development in Ayawaso Central. And the development in Ayawaso Central that has taken place is what I'm to, about to mention. If someone sits here and say, Honorable Henry Kote has done nothing in this community, that person is a grateful and great, great liar. It's ungrateful and it's a big liar. Why am I saying this? When you come to Ayawaso Central, every part and every area of Ayawaso Central is asphalt. He has asphalted the whole area. There is a few places that you will not see the asphalt. Because when our former president, John Mahama, was leaving the power, he gave such places as contract to others. And uh, those contracts were not properly tempered. So we cannot go ahead to do it. When we temper doing it, we will pay judgment debt. And we don't want to pay any judgment, so we take the matter to court to resolve it. And now most of the cases have been resolved, and those areas are now being is under construction that very soon all we are going to be completed. A typical example, and it's close to where we are uh, doing the debate, is uh, King David Road. All that area is asphalt, and they are, the contractor is on the road constructing it. And he has helped a lot building um, uh, uh, um, now through his administration. We be able to achieve courts, a uh, whole court in Ayawaso Central. Notwithstanding, not that one alone, not that one alone, we've been able to, uh, how do you call, put up a, a school at Panama, and then an uh, ongoing project at uh, Alado 1 and 2. All is the work of Honorable Henry Corte. Now, if you come to Ayawaso Central, there's no place, there's no place that you see the, uh, the street lights are not working. All the street lights are working 24-7. Everything is working. The system is working in Ayawaso Central. If I'm talking about Honorable Henry Kote, it's a big thing because Honorable Henry Kote has done a lot. We stand of the all the infrastructure things that he has done for the community. Not only that, he's someone who takes care of the community. In um, previous previous years, if you come to the roadside to trade over there, or if you're a hawker at the at the roadside and you are working over there, the NDC people and the MAM will sack you from the roadside. They will not allow you permit you to uh, do any business at the roadside. But today, through Honorable Henry Kote, we were able to have the access to sell at the roadside. Even when the government, when he became the Accra mayor, and people were putting pressure on him that he should sell those people selling at the roadside, so that the road will be cleared, that cars and people can pass. He, we went to parliament to appeal to them that, no, they are our people, that we have to support them. So therefore, I will not start them. What I will do is that I will make a, a, a train road for them, so that they will not finish on where people will pass, and the rest has to pass it. Today, if you are in Central Tito Lane, all over Air Force Center and you are selling. You will see clearly that nobody or no MA is chasing you out from the street. And everybody is having freedom to play. If anyone is second here, he's saying that he doesn't want to go job. It's, it's the first of our own problem. And well, so this is what community manifesto is all about. So we are in a position to say that we are able to no, so
So, um, depends on how the argument is going to be. No, it's okay. It's okay. All right. Okay. All right. Talk, talk. All right. All right. So, so, what do you think will be the key benchmarks people will use in voting? Okay. What do you think will be the key benchmarks people will use? Okay. So, please allow me. Allow me. So, so, come 7 December. Come 7 December, the good people of Ghana are going to vote for Dr. Muhammadu Baumia because today, when you are home and your light goes off, when you are home and your light goes off, you can take your mobile phone and buy power. Today, when you are home and you receive water bill, you can easily, but you can easily buy your water bill. Right at your home, you don't have to go all the way to. You, you don't have to go all the way to, to. You don't have to go all the way to the office to go and pay your water bill. Today, when you when you are at home, you can easily raise out your health insurance. Today, you can do everything as easily as possible. Ghanaians know better, and today. Central will use in voting, national and constituency. In the first place, I've already told you that the so-called free essentials that you've been talking about, it is never a free essential. It was a pro they started it progressively because they deceived parents who thought that they are what in form two and form three will also enjoy the free essentials. But it happened that it was only the form ones. I get to my point. NDC started it progressively. It was in order that by the next year, if we had voted into power, we would have done the, uh, the, the, the borders too. You know what I'm trying to say? To cut the long story short, the way things are going, some people, we are talking about, people are looking for John Mama because of the 24 hour economy that he promised many years. I get him up. Well, job, job, job. Whereby one job, three people will be sharing it. Based on 24 hour economy, 8 hours, 8 hours for 3 times, 8, eight hours and 3, 24. So, when it comes to what you call it, the constituency level, Harry Quarter has really disappointed us in the sense that we have Juan Yukuma basic 2 and 4, whereby they have demolished that basic school. Are you getting my point? As of now, those people. The project that has to come on, they've abandoned it. The students are standing under a tent. They don't have basic animals. Where do you will say they don't have it? At same as Panama. Panama Basic School. Panama. 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 Harry said it's 
What do you call it? An MP for what do you call it? I also Central. I don't think he even knows I also Central. What do you mean by that? He's been an he MP doesn't know I also Central like I've mentioned. Panama and then what do you call it? Uh, Kwame Kuma, basic two and four. They say they don't have a place to study. They are studying under a tent. So who we'll come to power? I get my point and complete that abandoned project. Again, I'm saying that Harry Quarter doesn't even know places in Ayaso Central. When you go to what they call it, Kutuba Abid Down. How can, how can somebody I, be several times an MP and you say he doesn't know? That's impossible. It is, it, that, that is why we, we are even surprised. Because the project like the so, so, system in Ebony, Ebony Down, he has not attended to them. From Alajo to Ebony, I get my point. From Kutuba Abid Down, to have Wembley, you know Wembley spot. All the drainage system there is down. When it rains, flood and all this thing. No, look at it. Her reporter is talking about he, this guy is, is praising her reporter. Go to Malata Market. Our market women, they, when, when it rains, you see them moving in the mud or whatever Malata it is. Malata is in the constituency. Malata is in the constituency. It's a total mess. I like that Harry has been getting his vote from. Go to. They don't have Alajo market. Proper Alajo market. It's not there. But Malata is not fast, so you can come from Alajo and go. If, let's say, we decentralize what the market system in Ghana, or in Ayaso Centre, whereby Alajo market is working, I get to my point, Malata market is working, what do you think would be? I mean, people, these days, when you are taking uh, taxi from Alajo Junction to the top here, for the Mabi top, I get to my point, it's five cities. It's five cities. It's five cities. So the point is, if if we have the market at what is it allowed? He says it's three cities, fifty percent. Whether it's three, he says it's not take trouble. He says, will you control? Will you control him? Will you control him? So what I'm trying to say is, whether it's even three cities, fifty percent. If you have it at Alajo, Alajo market. I am I'm not accepting it. I am not accepting it. What I'm just trying to say is this. Due to the economic hardship that Baomia Nanado government has brought us, people move, moving from one place to the other is so difficult. I get my point. So to be able to get a larger market fix for a larger, um, for a larger, what do you call it? A larger women and men be able to assess market easily. All right. I get my point. What I'm just trying to say is, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Harry Quarter has disappointed. Harry Quarter, I see Kwe, who have ruled this Ayazo Central for so many years. They, they have disappointed a whole lot of Ayazo Central communities because they haven't done anything that is proper in the very constituency. Our green system is down. I get my point. Our uh, basic schools in the market, basic schools, basic schools, they don't have where to study properly. They are studying tents. They don't even have a place to be with. So I'm saying that well, coming this very election, we need to vote for Rauf, the voting boy. Okay. And Jeff as the president. Rauf, Rauf, Rauf as constituency parliamentary candidate. They have to vote for him. Release my mic. Papa, this is okay. To become the MP of the area so that we can enjoy a proper, what do you call it, uh, governor. All right. So, um, you wanted to say something, but unfortunately we have to wrap up. And that is the atmosphere right here. Community manifesto coming from the tiptoe area right here in Ayawaso Central. We will come back, we'll do a comprehensive discussion on Ayawaso Central certainly next week. Back to the studio. Yeah, yeah, of course, we'll go back to our